Thank you for joining me today. I'm in Luke's Gospel, chapter 7, and this is the story of John the Baptist. Now, Jesus is talking about John the Baptist in this particular place because John had sent some of his disciples to find out if Jesus truly was the Messiah. Remember that John had been put in prison because he had opposed Herod, and Herod would later chop off John's head. You remember that gruesome and gory story that way. But John's sitting in prison right now trying to figure out what's going on. I'm sure that he's rather depressed about the world and the circumstances surrounding, surrounding him, but, um, but in this particular time, He's trying to figure out what the Lord is doing. And so he sends these disciples of his to find out from Jesus. John speaks about the fact that John, or, or Jesus speaks about the fact that John was indeed one of the humblest men who ever lived, and that was uh, that he was therefore the greatest of the prophets. Now what I find very interesting in this passage is that, uh, that the people who were the common people of his day received him well. But the people that were the, uh, the movers and the shakers of the society, the, the nobility, if you will, the people in political positions and had positions of power and, um, and respect in the community, they were the ones that didn't. In verse 30, uh, and in the English Standard Version, this is a parenthetical uh, phrase here, but... Uh, it says there that the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the purpose of God for themselves, not having been baptized by him. Now put yourself in their circumstances for a few minutes. Uh, remember that uh, just as in our day, they had a particular understanding of what, uh, what was supposed to happen, what uh, caused people to respect them and what was respectful and all of those kinds of things, John blew away and blew apart most of their understandings. John was a man who clothed himself like Elijah in, in uh, goat's hair and he ate locusts and wild honey, the scripture says, and he was a very rough and tumble kind of person not at all refined like these Pharisees and lawyers. And they probably looked at him and they probably said, he doesn't fit our mold. I'm not going to listen to him. And so as a result, they didn't get baptized by him, but the people did. The people who were uh, the common people, the people who were just the, the day laborers and the workers and the people who were the, the run of the mill, not in positions of power and authority, they listened to John and they were baptized by him. But those who were in positions of authority and respect, they didn't. We need to be careful. There are many of us who are more concerned about the ways people look at us and the authority that we are given because of our position or because of our office or because of our appearance. And we lose sight of the fact that we need not to be wise in our own eyes, but we need to be careful to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. These people were wise in their own eyes, and they didn't listen to, to Christ. They didn't listen to the Holy Spirit as he pushed them and prodded them to be repentant and to turn from their wickedness. And that's the reason why this particular parenthetical phrase is here. They were too wise in their own eyes. Now, it's interesting that immediately following this particular passage, uh, Jesus tells a rather strange uh, parable. He talks about the fact that these people uh, would uh, play the flute and they said, uh, dance for us as we play this flute and as we sing this dirge. And it was, if, it was if they were trying to control God. And that's really what that, that phrase means that's in a couple of the Gospels that way. They were trying to be in control of God and what was right and what they thought was 
really important. And we do that very same thing. There are many people today who lose sight of the fact that God wants us to walk humbly with him and turn away from our sinfulness and our sense of, uh, of, of personal uh, uh, sufficiency. He wants us to recognize who he is. And sometimes he tests that by bringing into our lives people that don't look like us and that and we need to be careful not to reject their message simply because they don't look like what we think they should look like. So we have to be careful. But he's mostly concerned about our humility before him. And that's what the Pharisees and the lawyers didn't do. They, they didn't recognize his uh, work in their lives. They were too wise in their own eyes. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the promises that if we will humble ourselves, you will hear us. We pray your forgiveness for those times when we have looked at someone who is different than we and have failed to listen to the message that you're saying through that person. But we ask you, Father, to help us to have humble hearts, to not be wise in our own eyes, but truly to fear you and turn away from evil, as Proverbs says. So thank you for teaching us here, even in this particular passage, that very, very important truth. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.